Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. West Ham now want to sign phenomenal Arsenal midfielder. According to Talk Sport, West Ham United are interested in signing Emil Smith Rowe from London and the Premier League rivals Arsenal in the January transfer window. The report has claimed that the Hammers want to secure the services of Smith Rowe on a loan deal until the end of the season. Talk Sport has noted that despite being fit and available, the 23 year old, who can operate as an attacking midfielder or as a winger, doesn't appear to be part of Mikel Arteta's plans. Smith Rowe has made one start and five substitute appearances in the Premier League for Arsenal this season. He has given one assist in those games. The Arsenal number 10 has made 73 appearances in the Premier League so far in his career. He has scored 12 goals and given nine assists in those games. In my opinion, Emil Smith Rowe should at least consider joining West Ham United on loan for the rest of the season. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta is not using the 23-year-old match. It's clear that he does not think that Smith Rowe is good enough to get into the team. Let us not forget that Arsenal signed attacker Kai Havertz in the summer of 2023, despite already having Smith Rowe on their books. West Ham are a big and established club in the Premier League under manager David Moyes this season. The London club who are also trying to sign Manchester City midfielder Calvin Phillips, are aiming to finish in the top four and are also playing in the UEFA Europa League. I believe that Smith Rowe could flourish at London Stadium. Journalist says Arsenal's fantastic player is almost back from injury. Jurian Tamber has had a nightmare few months at Arsenal. The Dutchman was on a cloud nine after earning his move to the Premier League in the summer, but unfortunately, his dream soon turned into a nightmare. Indeed, the defender suffered an ACL injury on his Premier League debut, and he's not been seen since. Usually, an ACL injury can be a season under or even a career under, but it sounds as though Tamber is close to getting back to action. Speaking on Shots TV, Chris Whitley has shared an update on Tamber's situation, and he says that the defender is now doing light ball work in Dubai, claiming that he is edging ever closer to a return from injury for Arsenal. Whitley shared what he knows about the fantastic defender. He said, yeah, some really big news for Yuri and Tamber. I think Arsenal fans have been waiting to see him play. He has only played one game against Nottingham Forest and has been out since. Now the signs are positive. He is doing light ball work in Dubai on Arsenal's winter training camp. Yuri and Tamber, good news for him. Great to see him almost back. There is still a long road, but this is a big step that he is now doing light ball work and Arteta will hope to have him back sooner rather than later. This could be just the most Arsenal need heading into the business end of the season. We saw last year how defensive depth problems cost Arsenal the title as William Saliba and Takahiro Tomiyasu both went down towards the end of the term, but that worry will be usually elevated when Tamber is back. The Dutchman can play all across the back four and he looks like a genuinely exceptional player based on what we've seen so far. Arsenal will be much better team for having Tamber back in the team, that's for sure. 26-year-old wants Arsenal to sell him this summer. Kieran Tierney was once earmarked as a future Arsenal captain. At one point, the left-back was one of the first names on the team sheet at the Emirates, but now he is way out of the picture and is currently alone in Spain. There has been plenty of chat about Tierney returning to Arsenal as of late, but according to Chris Whitley, speaking on Shots TV, the player may not have a future at the Emirates. Indeed, Whitley says that Tierney just doesn't fit in at Arsenal right now and he says that the defender will be looking for a way out of the club by the time the summer rolls around. Whitley shared what he knows about the defender. He said, 
Well, I think Kieran Tierney is coming into the so-called peak of his career, 26 years old and playing regularly for Real Sociedad. I think he could start for Arsenal, but he doesn't really fit in the current way of playing. Tierney will be looking for a way out in the summer. A lot of teams are in for him as well. Don't forget that in Newcastle, we're after him as well. That's a entirely Tierney situation. You can't blame Tierney for wanting a move this summer. After all, everything that has happened over the past 12 months has suggested he has no future at Arsenal in any case. Indeed, the left back has been shipped out alone and last season he was barely getting a game as well. The reality is that Mikel Arteta's shift towards using inverted fullbacks on that left side has meant that Tierney is surplus to requirements and if he wants to carve out a career for himself, he is best off going and playing his football elsewhere. Arsenal and Tottenham linked with a 22-year-old La Liga attacker. Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur are keen on signing the Real Sociedad winger under Barentea. The 22-year-old has been in impressive form this season and his performances have attracted the attention of the Premier League clubs according to a report via Vigaches. The Spanish under-21 international is highly rated in European football and he has a bright future ahead of him. He could develop into a key player for the two clubs with the right coaching and guidance. Arsenal could certainly use more depth in the wide areas and Barentaya would be a solid long-term acquisition for them. The 22-year-old is likely to improve with coaching and experience and he has the tools to develop into a top-class Premier League attacker. Arsenal already have two quality wingers in Gabriel Martinelli and Bukayo Saka. However, they have not been able to rotate the two players due to the lack of options. Signing another winger would be a wise investment. The 22-year-old Spaniard is capable of operating on both flanks and he will give Mikel Arteta so much needed options to work with. It will be interesting to see if Arsenal can beat their rivals to the signing of the 22-year-old La Liga winger. The opportunity to join big Premier League clubs like Arsenal and Tottenham will be an attractive proposition for the Real Sociedad winger and he could be tempted if there is a concrete proposal on the table. The Spanish winger has four goals and two assists to his name across all competitions this season and his numbers are likely to improve when he is playing in a better team alongside better players. Leipzig have heard of one Premier League club's interest in Xavi Simons. Arsenal are reportedly understood to hold interest in PSG's on-loan star Xavi Simons. The Netherlands international currently plying his trade in the Bundesliga with RB Leipzig is also curtailing interest from incumbent champions Bayern München. The head of football at the Bilde Group informed Kaut offside in an exclusive update which reads the following, Bayern have him on the list, but I think for this summer, they have many players on the list for this position, and Simons will be particularly expensive if PSG would be prepared to sell him. So I think there will be other clubs that also knock on the door. Leipzig have heard of Bayern's interest and interest from Arsenal. This could be one of the clubs. There are also rumors of Barcelona, but they have no money. Rumors of Inter Milan, I also think this wouldn't be a number one option. The 20-year-old wide man, also capable of playing as an attacking midfielder, has been in fine form this term. Registering 15 goal contributions in 26 games across all competitions, taking into account minutes played, that's a goal or assist every 132 minutes. Bearing in mind the finances likely to be involved in any potential deal that prices Simons away from PSG, one might imagine Arsenal to be the most likely to secure his services this summer. That's, of course, if the French outfit doesn't prefer increasing his value further with another loan deal at Leipzig. Given his contract doesn't expire until 2027, it may very well be the preferred option to maximize sale value come the summer of 2025. PSG beating Arsenal and Man United to transfer of a French star wouldn't be surprising, says expert. 
Paris Saint-Germain looks like a possible destination for Galatasaray's talented young French right back Sasha Bowie, according to Jonathan Johnson. Speaking exclusively to Cout Offside for the latest edition of his daily briefing column, Johnson said the following. Sasha Bowie has been on the radar of a number of clubs for some time. He is on the list of clubs in the Premier League and other top leagues in Europe. The latest is that PSG have been looking at him and I think he looks like a good solution for them amid doubts over Nordi Michele's future, albeit more as an option on the right-hand side of defense than in the center. I'm not sure if Bowie ticks all the boxes for what PSG need at the moment, but perhaps it will be that they go for him and a second player at the same time. He is one of the names who will be towards the top of the list of talents available in that position, and PSG like to have two quality players in each position. They will look to acquire that sort of talent, especially a French-born talent like Bowie, if at all possible. While things don't look to be concrete or advanced at the moment, it wouldn't surprise me to see PSG make a move for Bowie. Don't forget as well that he is from the Paris region and that's another important quality they tend to look for. He's had a good footballing education at RAN and he is really burst onto the scene at Galatasaray now. Let's see if PSG try something, though there is certainly a risk as January goes on that they might let players like Mukiel go without having secured a replacement. There might be a light flurry of activity, but it just depends on what PSG get firmed up before they make decisions on who comes in and who leaves. Arsenal and Man United would surely also do well to land a talent like Bowie and it would be exciting to see him in the Premier League, but PSG would surely be a tempting project for him. Journalist now shares some bad news for Arsenal fans involving Karim Benzema. Well, it was a fun rumor while it lasted, but it appears Karim Benzema now won't be joining Arsenal after all. The legendary French striker has been linked with a move to both Arsenal and Manchester United in recent days. It comes as Benzema becomes the latest player over in Saudi Arabia to apparently be looking for a way out despite being on a mega money contract. However, while Arsenal do need a striker and there was some excitement about Benzema coming to North London, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. According to talk sport journalist Alex Crook, Benzema to Arsenal is a no-go. Taking to his ex-account this morning, Crook posted a small update which simply stated that the Gunners won't be landing the Frenchman. Interestingly, when asked about Manchester United's interest in Benzema as well further down the threat, Crook also suggested that one isn't happening either. Karim Benzema would have been a fine signing for Arsenal in the short term, or anyone for that matter. We are talking about a genuinely world-class player here, who has all the ability in the world when it comes to top strikers. However, it was always going to be a long shot to get this over the line, and it looks like Arsenal have hit the brick wall before ever really getting close to doing the deal. For Arsenal fans, this will be a bit of a kick to the guts, but in reality, it was always going to be hard to get this done, just given the numbers involved. It will be interesting to see where Benzema does end up, if anywhere, a move back to Real Madrid has been mentioned, and if he does go back to Spain, the Champions League suddenly feels a lot different. Arsenal could bid £80 million for world-class player this month if they become the separate. Speaking on the Premier League All Access podcast, Alex Crook has been discussing Ivan Tony's situation and while he says a move is unlikely this month, he does note that if Arsenal get the separate, a big bid could come in. Crook shared his verdict on the world-class striker. He said, I think he knows that a move this window is unlikely, but someone might get the separate. Arsenal might just decide that if they are going to win the title, they have to slap £80 million down for Tony. Chelsea might think they need a number 9. I can't see it happening, but he is not going to rule it out at this stage.
This transfer window has been so dull so far, but don't discount the idea of there being some later drama here. We've seen it time and time again, where clubs spring into action from nowhere late in the January window, and Arsenal may be about to do just that. A bad result this week and may only increase the feeling of despair around the Emirates, and at that point, the higher-ups may be forced to do something drastic. Maybe, just maybe, there could be a twist in the saga before deadline day. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.